Yo, it's Manny Rocks back again. <laughs> yes, hey, sir. Switching what it up, up today. Yes, go. sir. Go. Ace Manny. of Fates Barbershop off the Clipper. We back, baby. What a do. Yes, sir. Special Manny guest. Rocks with the best intro. That barber you know. chief in the building, baby. No yes, pressure. Sir. No pressure. Let's go. We got uh, Shanice Tatnice in the building tatting up. Baby, you already know what it is, man. She does it best. Doing what she do. She uh, tatting me up today. What to do, y'all? How's everybody's day going? Solid. Good. That's Chilling. Right. You know, ready for another 12 hour day. Tomorrow. It's whatever. Or tonight. Right now. Fuck it. Yeah. You're about to go put in 12 hours at home. <laughs> yeah. Even mm-hmm. though you spent like four of them asleep, but how's this? Uh, how's yeah. everything been for you guys, man? Everything good? Good. Yeah. Chilling. What's up with everybody right. at home, though, that's watching us, man? Big shout out to everybody. Yeah, go ahead. Big shout out to everybody that's watching us. Uh, I really appreciate all the love that you guys are giving us. Uh, I see the the same the same people that keep coming back to watch us every time, and then the new ones and all that stuff. Uh, I really appreciate everybody for that for sure. You're the real one. Yes, sir. For real, for real. They they are the real ones. And all you haters that watch our shit and say they don't. For real. Hey, we know you love. We know you love us. I feel like Sorry. we're doing y'all too. Hey, I feel like we're doing a good job. Oh yeah, we're doing a good we're, job. We're consistent. We're doing pretty good. I mean, uh, you guys got to remember everybody that's watching at home. You guys got to remember that uh, this is us hanging out. We do this for fun, you know. Uh, it's for us to open a door for you guys to come hang out with us. You know, this is just a a time away from home and a time away from work. We do this as a thing to get away and just this is home. Man. Relax. I mean, yeah, pretty much away, a like home away from home now. You know. But believe it or not, every Tuesday night I go home and I feel good about myself. You know, after every fucking podcast, the times we don't do a podcast, it's like, what the fuck? Something's missing. I feel like it's a part of us now. We have to do a podcast every Tuesday. Yeah. You know, it's like it's not a Tuesday without a podcast no more. Yeah, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? If if we don't do a podcast, I feel like it's a Friday. Like, what what is it? Yeah. Or are we supposed to be doing something right now? For sure. You know? Uh, yeah. Um, today's podcast, we're going we're gonna, to uh, make it a little, it's going to be a little shorter today. We're going to try to uh, make it a little more compact, you know, because we got some, a uh, couple things that we're um, working on and stuff like that. So let me just get to it, man. I got a couple questions to ask you guys. You guys are my teammates. We usually interview other people, but I would love to ask you guys some questions that I ran into uh, that I can, you know, it'll help me fucking get to know you guys better. God damn, this shit fucking hurts, boy. <laughs> oh, you didn't put no numbing cream? Nah. Okay, so first question I got for you today, Polo, since we're going that way. All right. Is what are you getting tatted right now? Uh, right now I'm getting tatted Mookie under my daughter's face. So my daughter's face is right here, and then it says Mi Vida, which is my life. My daughter is my life. I do it for her. I live for her. Before I used to live for myself. Now I live for her. Mm-hmm. But uh, underneath her, it says Mookie. Now, why Mookie? Uh... Oh, fuck. Uh, Mookie comes from the movie Notorious B.I.G. Uh, back when the movie Mookie came out, me... Uh, actually, no. When my daughter was born, I started watching Mook, uh, Notorious B.I.G. movie. God damn, I forgot how bad that fucking spot hurts. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, so... That movie came out when I had my, or not, it didn't come out, but I was watching it with my daughter. She was a newborn. And then uh, Biggie Smalls tells his daughter when, uh, when he's all fucking uh, handicapped, he tells her like, oh, he calls her Mookie. And I was like, what the fuck? What does Mookie mean? And then he tells her like, hey, don't ever, don't ever, don't ever, don't never let any man call you a bitch because you're not a bitch. You know, you got to let, you got to make sure that your man treats you with respect. And, uh. He calls her Mookie, and I was like, what the fuck? What does Mookie mean? Like, that's pretty sick. And Mookie means, uh, like, charming and, like, a, like, a, like a beautiful girl, a, a caring girl. Is it, like, a slang word? or Yeah, like yeah a- it's, it's an African word, actually. It's, like, an African slang. And since he's Jamaican and, you know, African-American, he, uh, he used that word. I guess that's, like, the, some deep dictionary shit that, like, deep vocabulary that he had. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, the... the I just found it interesting. I was like, what's that word mean? And Leo was a newborn baby. This was literally like a couple of days after coming back from the hospital. So I was like, ah, I'm going to fucking 
I'm gonna I'm gonna research that word and Mookie meant that and I was like fuck I love it like that's pretty cool it just felt awesome that I that I got to hear that word right when she was just born it just felt special to me so I told Shanice and her kind of like, just caught up in the yeah moment I was just like oh you're my Mookie from now on like you're my Mookie and I call her Mookie I call her Mook Mooks my little Mook Mooks. And every time I call her Mookie, she's like, yeah, dad. And, I, and she tells me, like, oh, I'm your Mook Mooks, She right? acts like a little, yeah, like like a little your, princess. Yeah, like, I'm like your Mook Mooks, yeah. right, daddy? And I'm like, hell yeah, you're my Mookie. That's what's up. So Mookie, so, hey, I hope no, hey, I haven't not, I haven't heard anybody use that word with their daughter or kid. So please. Just when you call me. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Don't, I mean, go ahead and use it, but give some credit at least, man. Because I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave B.I.G. some credit. That's where I got it from. I'm not going to lie. But, um. Yeah, man, that's where I got it from, and that's what it means. To me, she, my daughter means everything. That's why I'm getting it tatted. Uh, I wanted to see, I wanted to show Shanice, you know, in action. And yeah, and I'm getting it tatted by my wife, so that's a fucking. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's a plus, you know? Yeah, that's what it means, though. Sick, that's cool. That's sick. You guys got nicknames, or you got nicknames for your son, Manny? My son, just Bash. Bash. Or like. Bucky? When he. Moka, ah, ah, Moko, ah, Moko. <laughs> nah, I just call him Bash, you know. Show sure for cool. Sebastian. Muki, Moko. Ah. When he's when he's acting bad, I call him Manny, you know. Oh, okay. Manuel. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Nah, hey, no, but low key though, when you do call him Manny, he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why is Manny is, is his first name? Oh, really? Yeah, his name's Manuel Sebastian. Oh shit. Yo, but, but to not confuse him, we we'll call him Sebastian. But if you, I've never called him Manny and. Ever. So when he goes to school, everybody's but, gonna call him Manny, well, and then he's well, not gonna like pay attention. He's gonna think the teacher's talking shit, huh? Like, yeah, no. Oh fuck! What did I do, teacher? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. yeah, no. Well, like his whole life, like I've never called him Manny, never. That's crazy. But if you ask him what his name is, he'll say Manny instead of Sebastian. Yeah. So I don't know how he knows that. It's like saying he's like Alexander. Yeah. I don't know if he's like, oh, like I'm dad, like I'm Manny, you know, like. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's, I mean, we we'll just call him Bash. Or you, you got know. a middle name too. My name, my middle name's Abel. Abel, disabled. <laughs> my my name is Manuel. Only Man- one he's drinking. Manuel, <laughs> Manuel Abel. Hey, <laughs> only one he's drinking. <laughs> this nigga's disabled when he's drinking. Huh? Manuel Disabel. Hey, no, but that's pretty <laughs> sick. All right, I got a question for you guys. I want to ask you. You're every- just gonna skip over me about. If I have yeah. a nickname for my Fuck kid, you. nah. Well, everybody, uh, everybody knows your me, name. Right? Everybody knows your last name. I mean, uh, your your second name. No, for my kid, fool. Nah, fool. I thought you said you didn't want to fucking talk about it. You gonna uh, talk okay. about it? Okay, yeah. Drake, come on. That's what's his name? <laughs> what's his hey, name? So, all right. What's your what's I'll your, your kid? Do. What's your kid's name? Nah, I haven't I haven't given him a name yet or her a name yet. <laughs> he's still a social security. <laughs> yeah, oh, he still damn. hasn't even got a social security number yet. Hey, no. Nah. So I have a quick, I have a quick question for you guys. Every single one of you guys, right here it is. What is your biggest accomplishment as of now? So we'll start off with Cheapy. What's your biggest accomplishment, Cheapy? Damn, there's a lot of things. Let's see. I could go from. This is not bragging either, but going from getting my pilot license at a young age to. At a later age, which is just recently, getting my barber license. Um, shit, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it that I can think of, bro. That's your biggest accomplishment? No, yeah, what just, the fuck? I can talk. I can. I can name a big accomplishment of yours. <sighs> Fool! What go the ahead, fuck? You use it every day. Oh, the Corvette? Yeah, you paid uh, off the, your Corvette. The, yeah, the Corvette's cool. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's paid off? It's paid off, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things, but eh, like, the, like, those are my biggest ones, though. Yeah. Like, my car is, for me, it's just my car. From an outside view, it must be like, fuck, you're balling. <laughs> but I, I mean, at, I look at it like, uh, you know, it's yeah, my it's my. There's Go a lot to, of people out there though. Without, point B, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there though that can't even pay off a Honda Accord. That's eight thousand dollars. Yeah, everybody's in different standpoints. Everybody has different. Um, everybody different well, different jobs or different. Um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Hobby, status, hobbies. Um, different situations. Different, different ways on yeah situations. Different or, ways on spending their money. Or like some people don't even. Like, I, sa- I I save. I'm good at saving, and I think I make pretty good decisions. Like money wise, I don't. 
I don't like to go out and just fucking blow my money like crazy unless I'm in Vegas and I have some spare money. Then, yeah, I'll go wild. I'll go loose. But other than that, for the most part, though, it's not like I'm there, like, buying shoes all the time or buying clothes all the time. Like, so I'm the simple, guy that bro. bought, like, six different pairs of ESs, like, a month ago? Yeah, but who... But you see me <laughs> rocking them every day, though, guy. Nah, yeah, I, yeah. I rock them every day. I switch it up, and those are my shoes from our barbering, and that's all I use. Nah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. I mean, I, I those are good accomplishments. Should I? I never thought. I, I never thought you were gonna have a fucking pilot license. You know. Yeah, I never thought that either. <laughs> that's a pretty beasty ass fucking license to have. Now you can work for. Like, uh, oh, like I, I have a fucking motorcycle yeah. license. Shanice has. I mean, a uh, uh, driver's a uh, driver's license. Shanice has a motorcycle license, but a pilot. Even a motorcycle license for Shanice, that's pretty fucking sick. Yeah, that's dope. Like, I don't have that. You know? Now you can work for the cartels. I could. You know? Yeah, I you really? To. I already have a meth lab. And a meth lab. <laughs> yeah. On GTA? Yeah, on Grand Theft Auto, though. Yeah, man, not in real life. We're working on it, though. <laughs> working on it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, what about you, up? Manny? Yeah, what's up, man? Um, the biggest accomplishment, I want to say, is being a dad. That's dope. That's cool. Being a dad. Don't know what it is. I've always wanted to yet, be a dad because, you know, you know, my dad passed away when I was six, so I'd never, like, had, like, a father figure. And I've always wanted to... I, I know, like... I know I'm pretty smart. And, like, I have a lot of, you know... I'm knowledgeable. Yeah. And I know that, you know, passing it on to my son is going to be, like... Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you, get, before you keep going... Put the sad ass song on, fool. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, pull it. On top, top, the top. Eye. Right there. No, bottom, bottom, bottom. Oh, wait, no. Right there. All right, keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. Um, Getting hot flashes. You know, and up until, up until then, like, I kind of, like, felt lost. Like, I wasn't really doing anything. Like, I was just going through the motions of life. Yeah. You know? And now it's like, you know, I've always struggled with, like, depression, anxiety. And there's there's times where, like, I could literally lay in bed and, like, stay at home for, like, a whole week straight. But now it's like, I got to be an example. Can you freehand off the clipper right here? Yeah, you got to set that I gotta, example for yeah, your Yeah, I got to set that example so it kind of motivates me to be a better version the- of myself in order to show yeah. him. It because it's not like I don't want to oh, be a hickory pit, hickory pit, hickory. See, now you got me stuck. No, 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 no. You know uh, what hic- I mean. Hickory pit. No. Hic- no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hypocrite. You can go get yeah, that. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah. And, there you go. and tell him and get show him my, that from any, anything's possible and not follow through it with my own actions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So For that's example. what is like I'm learning off of this. Is oh. You know, it's not about. You know, I'm trying to be the better version of myself so that he can be the same. You know, I don't want him to grow up and be like, oh, dad's like always sad or in a bad mood or yeah, just in a funk and just pissed off and doesn't want to do anything. So it kind of forces me to kind of yeah. think more, you know, positive uh, and look at the bright side no, of no, things. No, the razor. That's all right. um, so, yeah, I want to say that's my biggest accomplishment because he's, he's a great kid and you know, I have high hopes for him. He's super smart and outgoing. So, um, you know, and besides that, you know, work, obviously work's probably another accomplishment that I really enjoy and I'm proud of. Um, I love working for myself. It's a curse and a blessing because if something goes wrong, yeah. there's no one else to blame but me. Um, yeah. You know, I'd rather work 40 or I would, I'd rather work, you know, 70, 80 hours a week for myself than to work 40 hours for someone else. Yeah. And that's an, accol- com- an accomplishment in itself because, you know, you don't want to work, you know, nine to five for someone else and not work on yourself, you know. Now I have all the luxury of working on me, whatever I want to do, whatever I want to think about. It's all on me. Um, and hey, make sure you guys listen to what the fuck he's saying right now because this is like real... Like yeah. this is from the heart. This is re- as this is as real as it can get. For and real. also, being you know the man of the house. That's also an accomplishment. Yeah. That I'm proud of being the man of the house. 
um, making you know it's a hard it's a we've hard never, thing to do. You know, we've never struggled with money. Like all the bills are always paid. There's never been a time where it's like, oh, like we need this much or we're this short. Like I've always made sure that we have more than enough money to get by. And, you know, growing up, I was like, fuck, like this is hard, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you, you always got to do what you got to do to make things happen. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Sebastian, that's right. being self-employed, being my own boss and being the man of my house. Man, I'm my king of my castle. That's right. It's pretty much it. I mean, I'm a simple man. I'm not really. I don't really crave too much things besides a billion dollars or. Um, yeah, the, the a Ferrari. things that's not out of our reach, but you know, it's a long way away. Yeah, this is the only guy that I could be like, "Hey, what kind of car you want?" He's like, he's always like, "Oh, I want a Hellcat. I want a fucking yeah. crazy ass cars." You know, and, then, and, then, the and, then, and then anyone that knows me, like I've never like kind of splurge on myself with clothes. Like, well, have, I, I'm not going to, I have, I always wear the same shoes, Me too. but I have like 20 pairs that I never wear. I have a, clo- a walk-in closet that's full of clothes and I always stick to the same, you know, six shirts yeah, that I like. The, and it's not like I don't have clothes, but it's not really the, like an important thing to me. I don't really care how I look. Yeah, you they're know? just like work clothes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's work same clothes. Hair. Got nothing but white you know? shirts and black shirts. Yeah. And it's all black. That's like all my, I wear to work. My closet's like all black, like my soul. You know, just all black, go. maybe a couple white. You're probably a videographer in another life. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's or a is. fucking executioner or serial killer or something. But, you know, videographer sounds good. It sounds better. That's good. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> what about you? Did you put any number <laughs> on that? Uh, I want to say my biggest accomplishments was, first of all, not to fucking copy or anything but yeah being a father bro and uh getting married you know not going to jail that's another big one <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you know true. not getting caught i've always been smart enough to do you know whatever i did back in the day but you know i've always but i've always been smart enough not to get caught and be because a lot of people out there that you know they want to do this they want to do that but they're stupid they're clumsy they're careless they're not you know and those, that's why j- oh, that's why that's why people get locked up because they're not smart, you know. Yeah, I, I, tri- I trip on that. I'm like, oh, how do I how do I ask this? If you can figure out how to get away with it, would you murder someone? Hell yeah! I think I can get away with it. I, I mean, no. I, I've seen I've seen a uh, I've seen I've seen first forty eight. I've yeah. seen Dexter. E-E-R. I've seen like with those shows. I think I can get away with it. Fuck yeah. Nah. Remove all their fucking nails and their teeth, bro. Fucking burn them or fucking feed them to pigs, something. So, I feel like the, because usually when you kill someone, because you want to kill someone for revenge right. or whatever. I was going to say, I was going to comment on that, but go ahead. Yeah, pretty much like if you kill a random ass person, you could probably, probably get away with it. Yeah. Like a random person on the street. Yeah, because if you kill someone that like, it, there's a motive. You. Like that's how people get caught. There's the motive. Why serial killers get? Yeah, I mean, they, if I were to kill someone, for so I would kill someone for fun. Yeah, if if, if so like serial killers, <laughs> they they get away for so long so that because there's safe. no there's no motive. You know, yeah. it's like it's like oh like, who killed Manny? Oh like, oh shit. That, that, that's not that's You're not gonna a good say one. a hater's name. I was gonna say like. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I was gonna oh, say like, shit. oh, he, I was gonna say yeah. he owes so and so money, but you know, I never owe anybody money. Yeah, but, but you know, it's like, it oh, like who, who who wanted to kill Manny? It's like, oh, well, so and so, you know, so he owed so a Manny, so. or like, there's always a re- a motive why. But if you just kill a random person, then there's no really uh, trace back to you. Yes. You know, there was, uh, you ever you ever wonder why your skin stays on? Why? I don't know, but let's Gravity. peel it off. Gravity. Skin you alive. I mean, <laughs> it's like wrong? that video where they fucking remove that guy's heart and it's still beating and then they stab it on his chest. Yep. You want to see it? No. Nah, That's crazy. Good. Have you seen the guy get uh, eaten alive by dogs? Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Like his nutsack is getting fucking bit by those pit bulls. Yeah. yeah guess who showed me that video? Oh, you haven't watched Polo. the same shit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> hey. Disturbing guy. <laughs> But yeah, hey, 
back to my back to my, our accomplishments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, getting married and having a kid, man, and just fucking having in my barber shops. I believe those are my biggest accomplishments. Even though, like, I'm not getting rich off of these barber shops. Um, it's not about the money; it's about the journey. Yeah, I just love having my. It's like it's like having a clubhouse, you know. Like this, these are my clubhouses, you know. Boats and Because we're not, we're not. I'm not really. I really am not. Like, if I were to just not, if I were to not be a barber and just own them, I'd be broke, fool. Like you know, like <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to pay for my mortgage. <laughs> like I only, yeah. I only probably OD already. You break even, just pay the rent. Yeah, like literally, that. and I would, ju- I just literally just work basically for free. You know, I don't pay my rent for my chair. You know, mm-hmm. but I just it feels good to be able to say like, oh, I can go to my shop. You know, yeah. and I, I really, I really hope that all my barbers, especially you two and like Don and. All my barbers, I hope you guys all get this, your Don own barber shop. Shout out to John, to Don. Yes, sir. Shout out to Don, right. baby. Don, baby. I like how what you referred it? your your Those barber speed. shops to clubhouses, like yeah. in GTA, <laughs> like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> to clubhouses. But, uh, yeah, that's. That, I guess that's that's my. Uh, those are my biggest accomplishments. It's like trap houses. Yeah. What, what about you, Shanice? What's your biggest <laughs> biggest accomplishment? I'm just gonna the know. gang bangs again. There she goes. There we go again. It's always the first answer. Pro- probably her Damn. only fans. <laughs> and my biggest accomplishment would have to be definitely starting the tattooing journey. Because I feel like it was put on hold for so long, I should have done it sooner. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, I don't feel accomplished though, because I feel like I want to be more. I'm not comfortable where I'm at. I want to get better and better, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but, but it definitely feels the good. accomplishment is like you actually like I'm gonna do it. it and like actually doing it, you know. Whereas yeah. a lot, you know, you probably felt like a little nervous or it was when overthinking I got my AA it. too. You're like Alcoholics alcoholic anonymous? anonymous. My associate's degree. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I don't know what that I is. Felt- oh, that was pretty fucking. I, I, that was pretty. I, I was proud of that. What like, is when it? I was there, I was like, oh hell yeah, that's my wife oh, right there. Oh, that was my story, girlfriend back then. Story, quick story. Quick story. Um, I never thought I was going to go to college, not even like community college, nothing. Like my mom told me straight up, shout out to my mom. School's for fools. Yeah, she was like, oh, uh, you're not going to be able to go any further than high school. You got to work. You got to get a job. You know, get the fuck out. Uh, Not like that, but I mean like get the fuck on, grow up, get a job and shit. Anyway, so when I had the opportunity to go to college, to community college, and I went and I did it and I fucking got my associates. I know it's not big, but. For me, it was something that I never saw that I could do. And I fucking did it. You bitch. proved it wrong. No. That's got to be an accomplishment. Yeah. Like here, in your face, mom. No, not like that. I love her. Nah. Man. It was more like, well, you I'm know, like j- those Mexican, like the Mexican cultures, like you get a job yeah. right away. There's you got to like, start you know, helping out around here. Exactly. That type yeah. of shit. And then to actually live like the. The only thing my mom asked me American was to graduate shit. high school. Like my yeah. mom has a sixth grade education. Like she had to stop going to school and then start working, and then so she's yeah. like, "Just graduate high school." I'm like, "All right, I passed, but like bare minimum, you know?" Yeah. Just because oh, school is like super boring. Like I always like. Well, not really. Not for everybody though. Yeah. A lot yeah, of people actually fun. enjoy it. I enjoyed it. It was cool hanging out with the people, but like, I always felt like I was kind of too smart. So I would get bored easy. Should have took AP classes. Like, nah, but I was smart. But at the same time, I was not lazy. that smart. I was, <laughs> I was smart, but I was lazy as fuck. I was like, I want to put in that work for, you know. You're yeah. in the A, but not the P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just advanced. Yeah, but not super advanced. You know, I was like, got eh, you. Fuck it. Like, I'm not gonna go to college. I started working yeah. that way, and I like working better. Nice. You know. You know, no, Steve. Right. What the hell? What, all right, next question. I got a next question. What is your favorite thing about your career? Go. Or oh, actually, we'll start off with Shanice. <laughs> Making people fucking bleed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I cut people. I cut people for a living, and it's awesome. He's just starring horror films. <sighs> is this normal? This is supposed to be green and purple? <laughs> My favorite uh, thing. Yeah. Dude. Here, show, show your tattoo. Oh, yeah, show, show the, the tat. Show the tat. Get on up there. Shake that ass, boy. Right there, right 
Oh, my little mook books. Mm-hmm. All right, my turn, Buster. Same needle. Yes. Oh, I'm down. I want what Polo got. That's no, son. Okay, go what were you saying that it was a what? What was the question? What oh, what is my favorite thing? My favorite thing about what I do is going to Costco and I see somebody that I tatted and I'm like, Oh my god! Oh, I fucking <laughs> or like anywhere you know, and I'm like, dude, that's my tattoo. That's pretty sick. I ain't lie. It's just like I don't know. It feels good to see that I did that, and there's so many people walking around with my fucking tattoo on them. That's rewarding for me, and how happy they are, especially because people come in with some stories and like the reason why they're getting the tattoo, the journey behind it. It's meaningful to them, you know, and I was able to do that. Yeah, that's cool. It. That's cool. That's dope. Manny's neck tat. <laughs> yeah, we get to see everybody everybody <laughs> always recognizes me from the neck tat now. Yeah. I'll be wearing my mask like, hey, Manny. Let me see. How's the rose? Pinche Manny. Oh, shit. It looks good. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love I it. A feeling of, I have one accomplishment that I wish I could continue having. What is it? Here, go here. Your music sense? career. Go. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, give him your mic. I don't want to step on the camera. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. What's so your biggest aco- or what's your favorite thing about your or what was it that you were gonna say? Accomplishment your, that I wish could happen over and over type of deal. Yeah. Um. It was a client, a real estate uh. client. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, <laughs> Wait, was that you or that? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? That shit sounded legit, homie. I know. It was. That's why. Oh, she's yeah, the one myself. that made it. <laughs> but Omatic made it. Yeah. So yeah, I did. Freaking, I went to this real estate guy, and uh, real estate was my biggest clientele pre-pandemic, right? And this motherfucker, <clears throat> I, uh, I can't speak for all real estate agents, but a majority of them are pretty shitty, right? So this guy, <laughs> fucking, he goes. And he's like, oh, dude, I need these video. I need this, like, you know, house done, video photos, whatever. And then uh, he's like, oh, but talk to my assistant. I was like, all right. So I'm talking to the assistant, shitty assistant, right? But uh, I send her the invoice. Shout out to the shitty assistant. Yeah, shit is, shout out to the shitty assistant. But um, she responded to the email. She's one of the viewers. <laughs> responding to the guy, to, like, to her boss, to the agent. No. But I was tagged on it. I was tagged on it. So she didn't, I guess, react. Oh, she's like, oh, shit. She probably saw after. But the way it came out, I found it like, fuck yeah. Like, I like that. Like, as a, as a buddy of mine that does business also, he's like, bro, he's like, I fucking get a hard on when I fucking feel that or when I, when I get told that. And I was like, that's weird, but I understand, you know? Yeah. So in the message, it said, hey, he's like, hey, uh, so-and-so. Oh, the fucking liquor dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big shout out to fucking Frank's liquor, homie. Yeah, big shout out Frank's to Frank's liquor, bro. Yes, sir. They're we always taking up. care of us, yeah. man. But um, in the email it said, uh, like I'm gonna drop the nail, give a fuck. It's like, hey Ivan. It's like, hey Ivan. Um, hey Ivan. These uh, this this uh, these guys don't take uh cash or something, or they don't take checks. They only take Venmo and this and that. It's like I don't know about the company or who I have to talk to to get whatever. That's how it was sent. So when I saw that, I was like, fuck, they think I'm a whole ass company, bro. It's just me, son. Like, yeah. that made me feel like, fuck yeah, bitch. And I was like, where's my money? You know? Like, yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it made me feel like, that's turned you, what it turned I you want. It made you feel like legit. Oh, like, right, hell yeah, bitch. I'm putting it in work. So, bitch. You know? <laughs> like, that's what I felt. I'm a one But man. I want that, like, over and over. I had it a couple of other times, like, where I'm, like, shooting. And they're like, oh, it's like, what's the company called? Omatic? And I was like, oh, it's just me. You know, so it's like shit like that. Like you gotta, play, play, you gotta oh, play it off sometimes. Hey, but look, man. hey, you gotta manifest, bro, because you're gonna Omatic is gonna it's be growing. A, Omatic is growing and it's gonna be a big ass company, dog. Fuck yeah. It's I'm happening, a, baby. Hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna invest in Omatic stocks in about five years from now. Fuck yeah, exactly. You feel me? Y'all be ready, man. Y'all don't fucking get it, right? Hell no. Nah. You don't get it. Jump on before it's too late, baby. All right. What about you, Manny? What's your favorite thing about your career? Um all the all the connections. Hell yeah. 
All the connections. Hell yeah. We got we got plugs on everything. Everything. You think of. Everything. Uh, everything you think of. As a matter of fact, we become the plug for everything because we people ask us, hey, where can we get a car wash? And we got you. Hey, where can we get this? We got you. Everything. Hey, where can we we got you? Whatever you need. Hit us up. Hit us up. Yeah, we, we know. You. We know that everybody. Knows we know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that robs somebody. You yep. know? So, <laughs> so we got you. For they real. Yeah. So I want to say the connections and also like, you know, the people from different walks of life that I would never be friends with, that I'm friends with now. Um. Also, I get to be creative my own way. Every haircut's different, especially when it's a design. You kind of be more artistic. Yeah. Um, setting my own schedule. Hell That's yeah. a plus. And I don't know. That's pretty much it. Yeah. You know? That's right. right. What about you, Cheapy? See, the best thing for me is going to be retaining walk-ins as, like, when a walk-in comes in and then I just I put them on, they... They start telling me their story about, you know, how they go from, you know, barber to barber. And then I end up seeing them after, you know, the haircut. I'll see them, like, a week later and then the week after that. That, uh, for me, that makes me feel good because, you know, obviously I must have did a good job for them or up to their standards. And then the other thing is probably just, like, keeping all my old customers that I had for years. And then I see them, like, every week or every two weeks. And even from, like, my old job or previous jobs, like, I still have those connections. Like, I still see managers that I had before or coworkers that I had before. And um, it's pretty cool to kind of see that and still keep those relationships. Hell, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I love it. It's, it's all cool. about the connection with barbers, man. Yeah. We connect. Yeah, that's got to be the fucking, that's got to be. Because, you know, like, earlier today, like, people look at us, we're like, Thugged out or whatever, ghetto, whatever. But you'll have like that, you know, you're walking from earlier. You oh, know? yeah, the, the older man? Yeah. And it's like, they show love. Oh, you yeah. Know? And it's yeah. cool. It's like, what other place would someone like that feel comfortable enough to kind of open up? Open up, you know? Yeah. So it kind of shows them that people that look at it, look like us or act like us are, you know, they're, we're, I like we're the cool. way you, um, you handle that customer too. Why? Huh? Because the, the way he came off was like, uh, it was, it, it wasn't standoffish. It was more like, uh, well, he kinda was kind of rude. Hold, yeah, rude, kinda holding his ground. But then, like, I broke you, him. You were, yeah, you were, yeah. you were breaking yeah, yeah. him. You were asking him questions, and until you finally got the right question, to where he kind of like started spurging out and started talking a bunch of shit. He said, can yeah. I get a beer? Yeah. And then oh, yeah. from there, yeah. fucking, it was game over, guy. Yeah, you, just, yeah you, you, broke that, you broke that barrier. And then, uh, yeah, you let the whole water come out. And I, feel like, just, I feel like I got a pretty good sense of, like, greeting people, you know? Yeah. And yeah. just, like, uh, it, making people comfortable, too. Yeah, that's he the let thing, it flow. Well, that's the thing bro. with this trade is that you have to learn how to do that. Yeah. You know, because you, like, you, you attract who you are. Yeah. So if you're a gangster 24-7... The only person that's going to sit in your chair is gangsters that kind of relate to you. You, have to mold yourself. you know, so you kind of have to mold yourself to whoever's in adaptive. your chair. And yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, and oh, a lot oh, of people, yeah. a lot of people don't know how to do that. Like yeah. they're just want to be cool 24 seven. And that's great advice for anybody that's out there that wants to be a fucking a self employer or anybody that just wants to uh, do their own thing. You got to remember, man, uh, when you have your own business, you want to be available for everybody, not just one one crowd, you know? Uh, one thing that that opened my, my mind was uh, when I first opened up my first barbershop, I was, uh, I was 22 years old. I was young. I was partying. Every day I was fucking partying. Like, I would get off of work, and we would go directly to partying. For the longest time, Mesa Fates Barbershop, number one, was a, it was known for everybody would go there to hang out and shit, and eventually... Once I had my daughter, it just, like, you know, I started thinking, like, fuck, like, all I'm attracting is the ghetto-ass people, you know? They barely tip me. Fuck this. I want to fucking attract everybody else, you know? I want to attract everyone. I want to attract the nerds. I want to attract the fucking rich people. I want to attract the ghetto people. I want to attract... So you got to become just fucking neutral to everybody, you know? And 
Shit, ever since, man, we've been getting all types of people. We get all love. We get fucking people from Del Mar. We get people from San Isidro. We get people from Logan. We get people from TJ. We get people from everywhere. And they all feel comfortable at home. And I think that's what you got to do, man, for everybody that's fucking opening up their business. Make sure you don't stick to one fucking type of... Uh, like uh, diversity, diversity, you know, demographic. You want to be, there you want to be cool with everybody. You want to be, you want to be open. You know, you don't want to be close-minded because that ain't gonna take you nowhere. Straight up, I learned from my experience. It's helped me, um, and I put that shit to work every day, man. Like I, I, I could, like you said, I could literally have an old man right now and a fucking teenager next, and I could fucking make both of them feel the same way, and. That's what. That's how you really got to do it, man. Uh, for everybody that's out there that's really starting their business, man, make sure you guys fucking put that shit to work. But um, yeah, man, that's what I. That's what it's all about: growth and um, making sure that that you stay consistent. Customer you stay service, consistent, man. Customer service, for yourself, man. You gotta sometimes bite your tongue and yeah, suck it say. up, and yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta watch your surroundings too. Yes, sir. Uh, but around. yeah, man, with that being said, make sure you guys tune in for fucking Ace of Fates off the Clipper podcast number 20, 19th today. 19. Oh, 19th today. Is episode 19. 20 next week. 20th next week. Make sure you guys tune in. This is a short one. We will be uh, coming uh, back with another motherfucking podcast. Big shout out to Omatic Made It. Big shout out to Shanice Tatnese. We got... That Barber Cheapy and Manny Rocks with the Z. Ace yes, of Fates sir, Barber Shop sir. and Tattoos. We do have our new website coming soon. Very, very, very soon. Ace of Fates Barber Shop SD.com. Make sure you guys look us up. We're going to have everything on there. If you need to book an appointment, if you want to fucking learn about us, if you want to watch anything, videos, our YouTube channel, make sure you guys check us out. Much love. Thank you guys for the support. Comment if you have anything to say. If you guys want to watch anything on our podcast, make sure you guys tell us. Big shout out to everybody. We love you guys. Ace of Fates Barbershop off the Clipper. We out, baby. You already know what it is, man. Barber Cheapy out, baby. Yeah.